since the whole shipyard um, fiasco and really cool thing is we're right here next to Brandon's Gold Star 45. You guys are going to get it too. In my jammies. Hi, here. That's right, jammy tour. Not only do you get a sneak peek of seeing our boat back in the water, ain't she a beauty, but you also get a tour of Brandon with Perdido Sailor Inc.'s impressive 1985 Gulf Star 45. You ready? Come aboard. <laughs> this is where we have our campfire on deck. <laughs> this is the campfire spot right here. <laughs> As you know, Brandon has been a huge help to Philip and I while working on our boat at the shipyard, but he's also been a great friend to take us out now and again for a day sail, so you'll get some incredible footage of his boat on the water, while he also gives us a detailed interior tour. What do you like most about the boat? For kind of you and your um, family and your purpose? Yeah, it's big enough for the family. Um, she sails really well. Uh, the boat itself is a Gulf Star Hirsch model. Uh, she's one of 30 built. Uh, Just base, 30? <clears throat> of the Hirsch 30. Wow, I didn't know that uh, Overall, I mean, the design of the boat's good. This boat was built for charter, so mm -hmm. the fit and finish on it is not quite there. Okay. Uh, down below. Yeah. Uh, one thing I do like about it top size sure is there is uh, almost zero teeth. Our cockpit table and the little handle Very low maintenance. is the only teeth on, on oh. the project. And that was one thing I liked about the bow with this. When they commissioned this one, there was no no external teak. Yeah, center like cockpit. That. Are you a big fan of the center cockpit? Or would yeah, you? I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, it is protected. I will say that from the weather. It is protected. Um, you do have a lot more room. Um, originally, no, I didn't really care for them, but because most center cockpits, they, they don't have a very good look. Yeah. And this one's okay. But uh, I've, I've become more used to it. I'm pleased with it. I mean, every time we spend time on the boat, it's the perfect area. It's got plenty of room for everybody, good eating space. Good. I definitely, I'm a big fan of this area back here, ride, actually. Yeah. It's kind of like the barbecue area is what I it call it, you know, area. where everybody can hang out and ride on the way to the water. So you come in and out, you're swimming. I think you have a shower, right? Fresh water. Yeah, a shower under here, propane locker. Sausage always here. <laughs> um, this is the uh, dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Dumpster. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. It holds um, the trash until you're ready. Pretty good stuff. 5.5 um, KW generator. A um, little next gen. It's a nice little unit. Very cool. Okay. Came with the boat. And then a small amount of storage because the generator takes up everything. Yeah. It's not too loud, though. I definitely, because we stay next to you a lot and it doesn't bother us at all. Yours is pretty, purrs, yeah, purrs pretty well. well. It's not bad. Do you use it a lot or maybe just to run the AC? Um, the primary use? Yeah, in the heat of the summer. To run the air conditioner, also use it to charge the batteries yeah. instead of the main engine. You got a decent sized battery charger. Do you have solar panels? Um, we do have solar panels. Nice. They are here. Oh, uh, there we go. I'm looking on the also backs of the F1 spooler. What's that? <laughs> Is that a, for to launch a plane or something? <laughs> That's when I show my blonde roots. <laughs> What's that? Tell us about the F1 spoiler, Brandon. <laughs> So oh, like a car, spinner. like a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which we, we know we go fast under spinnaker, right? What is the fastest you've gone on the boat? Um, non, mid nines. Mid nines. Was that with spinnaker or? No, that was downwind uh, or. No, that was main and jib and about 25, 30 knots of breeze. Woo! Did the boat Off handle the quarter it? Beam. Yeah, it did fine. Yeah. You pleased with how the boat sails and heavy weather oh, yeah, and everything? Yeah, she sails, sails really well. How much does she weigh? I don't know how heavy um, your boat is. It's right around 30, okay. 30,000. Oh, it's got double R's then, jeez. Yeah. Wow. But fairly lightweight. Um, does she still handle well? Is she still pretty responsive? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not like some people call them a tank, you know, when they're that heavy or that big, you wouldn't call no, yours. This is, um, she's a good sailor. Well, tell me a little bit about the rigging because I don't know about yours, the age and what you got. Um, this is basically just a sloop rig with roller furling, um, stack pack, single spreader, um, no real frills about it. Um, Here's his wires at 516 play cars? Uh, no, I think we're at least one or two sizes up. Um, I actually don't know what the, the size is. 
it, it is, is bigger. Uh, stay lock or Norseman. Uh -huh. um, the previous owner had it rigged. Eight, oh sweet how do you feel about that are you on like a seven-year rule or what it looks like um seven years is probably a little soon but you do need to continually inspect yeah, it. And if you see corrosion and stuff like that it just looks good yeah. definitely i can definitely point, see I need that. To go in and polish it but... what do you do you ever have time to do any of this stuff uh, really. <laughs> working on everybody else's Mine, boat mine's the typical <laughs> mechanics boat <laughs> It, but, is. Uh, it does make it out here, so that's the best uh, thing. We try to, to use it as much out. as we can. Yeah, I've been told to not film any of the baby toys and stuff lying around because they really use it. That's a good thing. <laughs> cool. Let's see the cockpit area back here. Woo, it's easy listening Sunday brunch here. That's what we like. Now you're gonna have to explain all this going on here. That's the uh, NASA <laughs> rocket center. <laughs> Launch a space yeah. rocket here. Uh, it's just a typical Raymarine um, C120, a little bit older system. Uh, it came with the boat. You know, it's a, it's a decent system. Do you uh, like it or would you do something different? No, I'd go with something different. Would uh, you do something smaller or just different placement? No, I'd go with the B&G. Ah, we got a and g <laughs> Ah, that's why you recommended it. <laughs> and you're wearing a Simrad hat too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all sorts uh, of swag. No, I probably wouldn't go any smaller. I'd probably keep it pretty close to the same. Yeah, it doesn't bother you? I'm always curious about that. No. And maybe it wouldn't bother us. We just don't know, you know? We're kind of no, going, going off the principle. Over here, yeah. Is that usually what you do? <clears throat> uh, I mostly drive with the autopilot, so I'm running around the boat. Yeah. Doing, I can't imagine what you're running around after. <laughs> little ones and people, little people and problems. Basic engine controls, mm -hmm. uh, windlass, anchor light, steaming light, deck light, um, compass, uh, anchor counter. Oh, like how many feet you got out? That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, we don't have that for sure. We've it's got the spray chain, spray paint and little zip ties yeah, and Annie on deck. That's what our anchor chain counter is. The chain counter. That's cool. So that's kind of handy. Backs up the zip tie. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. The that's the only outdoor one. Well, and I guess you could call this piece here. <laughs> gray, so just let it gray. Down below. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We are listening to Easy Living Sunday Morning Radio. Thank you guys This is the lovely Christine. <laughs> and the Say lovely hello, Ella. Ella. You've met this whole crew. Hi. The monster and the booger, I think is what I call them. <laughs> Beautiful layout here, definitely. Yeah, it's a nice size salon, galley. Um, pretty wide open. It really is. You got little munchkins, have plenty of room to move around. And we're big fans of your seats. Are they called pleather? Have that right? Or no, the it's um, faux ultra fabric. Looks like yeah. leather. It's made by Feels ultra good. fabrics. It's um, there's no plastic Bursa. in it. Brissa. Brissa ultra fabrics. Brissa ultra fabrics. And there's no plastic in it. I love it. So nice. you don't stick it all through the summer, but it's mm -hmm. water resistant. Mm -hmm. You can dump a bottle of wine on it and it won't stay. <laughs> we never do that. <laughs> and it won't, um, <laughs> no. and it's not going to wear. It's got something like 200,000 double sits, so you're not going to get that wear spot that you Are see you, on leather. They measure it by sits? No, I did yeah. not it's know good. that. It's actually called double sits. 2,000 ass Sit touches. Up and down, yeah. Up and down, <laughs> double sits. <laughs> this woman knows her style. What do you think about stowage? Do you feel like you have enough lockers, cubbies? Um, the storage is okay on the boat. It's, it's, um, not great, but it, there's it's fairly adequate. You got a lot of space uh, the galley, in the galley. There's quite a bit of storage. Good storage in the galley. On your boat, do you have to put certain heavy items certain places as opposed to like forward or backward? Or... No, not, not really. You put it anywhere. I know the fridge. <laughs> I came in here last time and I went upside down in it. Yeah. <laughs> Christine can't reach the bottom. You can't, right? Without sticking your feet in. There. I can't actually. Even if I but lay no, on the counter it. and go all the way in, I cannot reach the starboard bottom yeah, so way yeah, over, over there so things roll over there i can't get to them i had to use a deck <laughs> to stick her feet in the air deck brush to clean it <laughs> and she needs a boat hook to like get the wine out of the bottom she's like brandon give me the boat hook we're cutting a hole in it god you do have a lot of great stories too though i love the hammock too we got to get one of those the snack hammock the snack and bread hammock. snack hammock what um what kind of fridge do you have and are you uh, pleased there's with two it? of them there's a sea frost uh freezer unit and then a uh, basic Dometic, Dometic uh, fridge unit. Yeah. Any problems or <laughs> runs great? 
Um, now that I've finally got them tuned up, they work good. So it took a little bit. I know we're still working on ours a little bit. Microwave, people are gonna love that. They're gonna be like, Annie Phillips, that was too rustic for us. I love the big base sink and I always love the sink right by the cockpit. I'm just a huge fan of that. Toss stuff in, you know, mm -hmm. stabilize it. This is a good size. Huh? You got little stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's nice too, just built in. This needs to be refinished. Eventually we're gonna do the countertops and update. What do you think you wanna go with? Um it's a, a granite, faux granite for my cup. Cool. Is it pretty easy to install that. yourselves? We have to take all the rails off to do it. Ooh, but, oh, yeah, you got to strip it. You know, we're going to take all the rails off and take the sink out, which the sink is fiberglass, yeah. so he'll be able to. You can just kind of repair any little you'll things. Yeah, yeah, hey, cutie. Hey, yeah. cutie. We'll see what you got back here. A damp rid. We're big yep. fans. Yep. <laughs> you let us on to the damp rid. It's definitely, definitely nice size bathroom in here. And you have two heads on the boat, right? Yep. Yeah, two heads. Annie's touring in her jammies. <laughs> she she does not care. Do you like having two heads? Do you feel like it's too many systems, or does it work well for you? Um, it, it, it's fine. But yeah, it's it's double double head, double stink, double, double leaks, maintenance, double the <laughs> double, double stink, double maintenance, double <laughs> clogs. Yeah, two, um, yeah. Holding tanks. It looks two nice holding though. Tanks. Oh, two separate. I didn't did, yeah. didn't go the same. One's in the V berth and one's in the aft. Okay. Rich, I'd like to put in a single pure sand. What's a pure sand? To waste treatment. Oh, cool! Nice. She says, "I like that." You got a good size berth back here. Yeah, it's um on the end of the king. Oh, wow! Did you clean up? <laughs> I, <appreciate laughs> yeah, I hate that you had to. It was a really good size. I love this berth. It's big. This is almost a queen. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys sleep in? What is the sleeping arrangements? How do y'all do that with the no, kids and everything? This is, Ella's. this is Ella's bed. Okay. And then we're in the back. This is the stowage, mm -hmm. so she we can still keep it stowage, and she can sleep on the starboard oh, side. Very nice, cool. And that helps to pack her in like a leak cloth. Seriously, yeah. I mean it's a better way. To, it's a good way to do it. So if I do it at this very way, good we'll size. Empty it when we have guests on board, uh -huh. so, that so they can sleep here. Bolts. Are these solar powered fans or how does this work? Yeah. Cool. Are they just running. Solar, I think with a battery backup. Nobody. Air conditioner. Oh, the AC's in there. One of them, the but it's a horrible spot. I don't know why they put it there. What? Well, yeah, what's the? It takes up the closet. Where else would you have put it? Would you maybe? I'd have put it under the bed. Down here. Yeah, that probably would have been better. Not take up a hanging locker. Exactly. It'd be quieter. <laughs> She's so cute, man. She's just finding her way. Nothing's gonna stop her. <laughs> they they want to go cruise, but they can't think this is possible. You know. The only problem we have down here is those make steps, and I have a solution for them. But she's doing well enough. I'm not actually that worried about it. Yeah. Um, she's getting. Yeah, we only got probably another three months. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to love it. Love it. You got good space here. Yeah. Put your stuff in. All, All negative my, about it. It's my got junk teeny door. tiny. So anytime you open it. Oh yeah. yeah you you got to put up just that little area. And you do have these really cool LED oh, yeah. fluorescents. We're gonna get some of those. Super bright. And they rotate. You can turn them whichever way you want. Those are really cool. Is the same ones you have in your engine room? Yep. Yeah. Well, this is a uh, smaller version. A, a smaller and um, the engine room needs more color. light. <laughs> Very cool. Big. A lot of storage back here. Lord have mercy. This is the main breaker panels. Oh, okay. Very cool. Everything you need here. Lord, yeah, yours is a lot more than ours. <laughs> we probably have 10 things and you've got yeah, about 15 not, going on there. It's really not big enough. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's in a good location, or would you move it if you could? No, I think the location's fine. Good. It is kind it's of protected. Not, um, big enough for the amount of systems. Yeah. You feel like you need to put more on there? You need well, more switches added, and toggles? <laughs> this one was added, yeah. and then I added another panel here. Oh, you put this one on? And then this is my secondary engine Very controls. Cool. Yeah, your engine panel. Generator. Nice. Uh, battery monitor. Very cool, so you can just watch all that here. Yeah, you couldn't have fit any of all that. Yeah, here. and if I'm down below, I can check, make sure the engine's you know, I do like that. temp and all that. Yep, we watch and that temp all the time. added an hour meter because it didn't have one. How many hours on the engine? What um, do you got? Is that 152? 152. Lord, because that's the a new rebuild. engine since the rebuild. <laughs> got good storage here, lots of storage. There's a, there's a, a lot, lot of storage. storage. A lot of storage. Well, what it lacks is storage up top. On the we have deck? no storage up top. 
Well, yeah, lazarette they, storage for oh, gotcha. fenders, yeah. things yep. like fenders, yeah. life, life jackets, all that kind of wet stuff. And the wet stuff, the kids' toys, yeah. you know, yeah. things like that. We have none of that up there. So all of the stuff that you have stored in your lazarette, we have to below. bring down here, which is kind of unfortunate because it's wet usually. you got to find a good place for it. Now we've seen this, the oh, mamma jamma. Yeah. Hey. No. <laughs> Please don't do that. Uh, so it's a uh, rebuilt uh, Perkins 4108, mm -hmm. uh, the Bowman model was right it, after we bought the boat it, it uh wore out and died <laughs> i remember that weekend <laughs> yeah that was were you getting what was it white smoke or what is gray smoke no, bad it was, uh, blue blue smoke even blue worse smoke. even oil. worse yeah it was not good and you had the oil smile in here i remember uh, that this, this day was just diesel soot and so this was a it was horrible eight, eight month project right how long it was, was about it? seven months Let's see, look at it. Start to finish. Let's see, it went out on October the 25th uh -huh. and we launched on May the 3rd. Wow, so that's uh, eight, close to eight months. Yeah, Seven, but two, eight. Mo two months I didn't touch the boat, I was so mad. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I can totally understand that. <laughs> Screw you, boat. Time. Ooh, that's a big project. Great hanging locker there. That's what we do is our Chester doors kind of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got another one in there I love too. those things. And this is. I got an idea from you, Annie. Me? Yeah. I gave you an idea. These are the boat experts. I have a experts. bunch of those that I never used at the house, and I'm like, ha ha, that was smart. Do you use lingerie on your bed? No, uh -huh. uh, unfortunately, mine doesn't need <laughs> <use> lingerie. <laughs> Don't need that yet, huh? There's another Ooh, closet. A good thing <clears throat> and they didn't take up any space in this one with an AC or anything else. No, oh, the back AC is under the bed. Which is probably better, much better spot for it. And so your quadrant and the, all that stuff too is kind of under? back under here. Okay, and the autopilot's mounted there it's too? It's all back, yeah. It's, but it's kind of a mess to get through. No, oh, this is a great size though. I mean, this is a huge berth here. I love, a lot of people love the access on both sides, you know. That way if you wake up in the middle of the night, you can... I would you forego would? the access to have a water bed. Really? No, that makes sense. That way you don't want to fall off or nights that you don't want to touch each other. <laughs> Get your feet off of mine. <laughs> it's short it's and it's short. not quite a full. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not even a full. Is the bed back there bigger? Probably, yes. Would you say? It is bigger. Okay. Except for the, you know, the triangle portion. But I mean, but once you, it's, it's one of the ways you end up learning to sleep on it. Are you going to bed? Well, I put pillows mm -hmm. on the side mm -hmm. so that your head and all your curve can go off of the bed. Oh, perfect. And I remember you were like, this. like eight months in this bed. And I was like, Brandon, how are you going to fit in that bed with her? <laughs> <laughs> Ready to pop with this little monster here. <laughs> Come on, we're waiting on you. What you doing? <laughs> She's showing you her bedroom. Well, let's go see. Oh, this is where she sleeps. Kong, watch out. So this is where you sleep, huh? Oh, perfect. You can show up your bed. Look at that. You lay down. So she just sleeps right in here. bed slash shower. I love it. <laughs> well, that way if she has an accident, you just rinse her down. Just, <laughs> just shut the door and <laughs> car wash. <laughs> like, we'll take care of that. No problem. That's why you didn't know what that sound was, huh, Christine? A car wash. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> it was really cool to see the layout of Brandon's boat, engine access here on both sides, and how he and his wife, Christine, can bring the whole family out pretty comfortably on a 45 foot boat to sail and cruise. I hope you all have enjoyed the tour of this 1985 Gulf Star 45. Sailing wise, we have uh, about six to seven knots of parents. We're doing six to eight of the ground. Uh, Finding these boat tours helpful? Awesome. Help us by giving back and supporting our Give the Gift of Cruising campaign on Patreon. Just a few small donations from each of you, and I can do something very big for one of my patrons. Get inspired and get on board. What do you call this? The V birth or the aft birth? The one that came. Nobody signs. Screw it. Did I catch that? <laughs> the the screw screw time. Caitlin missed it yesterday. <laughs> It's hard to remember. I was doing the tour earlier and I went, I went like clunk into the fridge and I was like, whoops, sorry, GoPro. I'm a visit on shore and I can't reach it. You're not short. You're tall in my mind, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't think I can reach it. <laughs> See, that's the nice thing about <laughs> Brandon as a friend or as a captain or he can fix uh, anything. Uh, I was been, she's like, it's awesome. Don't need <laughs> Tom to do anything. <laughs> oh, no. the king. oh, wow. Did you clean up? <laughs> I, yeah, I hate that you had to, but it looks nice. We had to help match Kevin. His was all staged. Oh, that's Kevin. I think he hired a decorator to come out. <laughs> he probably did. We'll take that out. <laughs> Goes in the outtakes. This woman knows no, her stuff, man. Now you're learning something new every day. 2,000 assets right here. <laughs> Does it have heat warmers? What do you call them? Ass warmers? Ass warmers? No, we didn't go with no, the heat warmers. Didn't go with the heat warmers. It's okay. on the list. Uh, behind the main highly recommended I was going to Definitely. Do cut a piece of plywood mm -hmm. and notch 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 and I was oh. just going to affix it right on so adults it makes like a... could do this but, you but think there's you're... no way a baby could have yeah that would be dangerous so <laughs> I'm afraid as an adult I couldn't do that with the drinking well, hand <laughs> And in case any of you have ever faced this physics problem, pretty cool conversation here about how Brandon was able to extract the engine from the boat yeah. for the rebuild. Yeah, because engines can get lifted straight through the companion way. Oh, that's right. How did y'all get it out? Pulled this bulkhead, um, I dropped the cable through the binnacle, dead lifted it up, put down a piece of plywood, and then we put it on a furniture dolly and wheeled it to there. <laughs> All the way around? Oh, and then he put an I-beam on the boom. And engine hoisted the engine up through the companionway onto the boom. The boom. Then, oh my gosh, roll the engine down the boom and swing it all for the boat onto the dock. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's some engineering. So that's another reason it took two months is just processing yeah. how, to get, how to get the engine out. Right. And he had to completely disassemble it. The transmission had to come off. Well, that's the transmission. I pulled. It. You took I it off. I stripped it down pretty, pretty bare, but sure, you have uh, to. Once I realized how I could get it out, going back in, I, I, I had the engine fully assembled. And you were able to bring it in fully assembled. Yeah, it was just a little heavier. Yeah. Um, <laughs> about that furniture, Dolly. Were you worried about it crushing into the floors? Oh, uh, we put plywood down. Yeah. Okay. Was it to hold the weight? Three quarter inch. Um, I don't. I think we just. I don't remember. I think it was three quarter inch plywood, so it wouldn't give between the. Yeah, smart. Yeah, smart. I messed the floor up. Ooh. 